Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is going through a phase of feeling rather depressed. This is uh, Michal, uh, the angel uh, you, ruling this particular card. You've got Mercury uh, and the moon together. So you're thinking a lot and you're overthinking the situation and that's making you feel uh, rather miserable right now. It seems like you do want to transform uh, you know, your situation and, um, you know, you're, you're dwelling too much on that past or whatever's happened for you, with you. Now, uh, the card above it is um, having um, success coming to you. So it looks like, uh, you know, you are thinking of ways and means of getting out of the situation. You've got the sun and mercury together over here. So uh, a lot of thought being given to your circumstances, your personal circumstances. And, um, you know, maybe you're even thinking of doing something, um, maybe further study or something to distract your mind. Uh, so it seems like, you know, you are feeling a little bit stuck in that particular situation and maybe you're thinking of doing something uh, like studying or you know doing some kind of course or something to get you out of that feeling of being depressed trying to distract yourself now you have been going through a crisis situation over here and uh, it looks like uh, you know you've been facing a lot of criticism uh, from the person uh, that you've been dealing with uh, and you know this has maybe affected your self-confidence so in the past, you've got um, recovering from a very difficult situation over here. Uh, you know, there was a lot of lies and deceit. You've got Neptune sitting over here. And this was somebody that attacked you, uh, your personal confidence because you've got that uh, Venus there. And so this is somebody attacking, uh, you know, you personally making you feel really um, disempowered. And you also got this card of winning. So you are getting yourself out of it. Maybe you're feeling like time is running out. You've got this hourglass over here. And, uh, you know, you, that's why you might be thinking of actually uh, doing some kind of further study or something, uh, some kind of taking up some kind of hobby to actually get yourself out of that uh, energy that you're feeling stuck in. Now, going into the future, you've got a legal victory coming up over here. So there's Jupiter over here that brings you wealth and success. And it's, um, you know, you've got Saturn over there. Saturn is a card of restriction, but uh, it seems like with the two of them together, um, you know, you're going to get some kind of legal victory going on. So if you've been dealing with a, a legal situation with regards to your relationship, um, you know, it's going to go in your favor as well. And there might be some small obstacles that you will be facing, uh, but those are things that you can easily get through. You can see this woman's got a very little hammer, and that's a very little rock. So all of these things are there. They're just more niggling irritations uh, than, uh, you know, big problems. So you will be able to cope with that, and it looks like you are going to win in that particular situation. You know, there could be even a payoff in that uh, legal situation that you're facing because you have got that energy of Jupiter over there. So those are the energies within those two weeks. So I'm using the Arcane, Arcus Arcanium Tarot for the main read. Um, I have shuffled this deck. Oops. So at the bottom of the deck, we've got this Four of Cups over here, and you can see, you know, feeling rather miserable, feeling rather upset, focusing on that Three of Cups. So you have gone through some kind of disappointment. You have gone through a heartbreak situation, and you're still crying about what you've lost because you can see these cups are empty. But behind this person, you can see there's a, a, somebody offering that cup, a new cup. So, um, you know, and there's a ship in the background over there. So even though you feel rather, uh, you know, upset about whatever the situation has uh, been, there is somebody that's going to be offering you some kind of comfort, some kind of new relationship, uh, maybe new love coming in over there, some kind of support coming in over here. And don't turn your back on it because it seems to be a very genuine offer that comes in for you. Um, you know, even though you're feeling rather miserable and very, very upset, it's going to allow you to move away from things uh, that are making you so unhappy at this particular moment. 
So what's going on with you? You've got that Six of Swords over here. So you've got another ship over there. So you've got a ship here in the background here that is showing that, you know, with this new offer, you'll be able to move away from this difficult situation. And here you've got all these problems that you've been dealing with. You've probably been dealing with a lot of legal issues as well because there's a lot of swords over here. But something is going to come to help you to rescue you from that situation. So you will be able to get over it and move away from it. You might just have to leave things behind, uh, you know, uh, take it as... Um, what has gone as, you know, what has happened has happened and just move forward, um, you know, leave behind all that um, misery and all the problems and, uh, you know, uh, you've got the death card over here and that's saying you need to cut out things that were making you unhappy. So the situation has changed very dramatically. It seems like, you know, there was a lot of loss on your particular part and, um, you know, it's time for you to move on. Uh, there are new gateways opening. You can see there's this big, um, you know, there's this, it, it's it's a big gateway that's opening on into a better future. So you've got the sunrise coming up over there. But for now, you're going to have to just walk away from things. And it's a big situation. It ended quite dramatically or quite drastically. And it looks like, you know, you're going to have to just leave it. Both these cards are moving away from any kind of difficult situations, cutting out that past and moving on. So um, in the past year, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. There were big changes that came for you. So they might have been very sudden. Uh, you know, they might have been very, very unexpected. The Wheel of Fortune brings in uh, events or brings in uh, changes to life that we do not control because it's a major arcana card. So this is part of your destiny. And uh, this is uh, things have changed um, according to the way uh, they were meant to change uh, and bring you into uh, more growth. So whatever has happened, you hadn't, you didn't have a hand in it, really. Uh, it may have been events that, uh, it might have been a series of events that happened that uh, brought about big changes. You were carrying a lot of burdens as well, so maybe this is the reason why the Wheel of Fortune had to come in and bring in that change. You can see uh, with this 10, you've had to lay down all those responsibilities on and all those burdens. And even all those problems, because, you know, the Ten of Wands is also about problems. Uh, and you've had to, you know, pick up one um, wand or something. This person is carrying almost a club, really. So you have had to uh, find your inner strength. You had to lay down all those responsibilities that you were carrying, find your inner strength and start making plans for your own future. This person's standing all by themselves. So that means that, you know, you know, it looks like you've come through some kind of separation and uh, you were carrying too much of the responsibility and too much of the burdens. Maybe you were doing all the work in that relationship and you were not getting any kind of recognition within it. Um, and, you know, uh, this was the thing that was bringing you down. And this is the reason why. Uh, you know, the universe didn't like it very much, so it brought in the Wheel of Fortune and changed everything. So this cycle has now come to an end. All those burdens are over. Uh, it looks like, you know, with this red sky here, there was a lot of drama that you went through. And now you've got that death card coming in also with that red sc uh, sky. So it's showing that, you know, you've been through a lot. There was a lot of drama. You've got the birds flying off over here. You've got your freedom finally. And now you're going to have to leave everything behind um, and move forward. Um, releasing the past. Even here with the six of uh, swords, you've got the birds flying, so you've got your freedom, and it looks like you're going to be moving away. You might even be journeying or taking, you know, an overseas trip. You've got war uh, a boat uh, going over water. So there might be some kind of journey that you will be taking uh, to get yourself away from this particular situation. So on your mind, you've got the Ace of Swords over here. So you are, you were dealing with something that was very toxic. You've got this eagle carrying the snake. This person that you were dealing with was very, very toxic. And, uh, you know, they maybe they made you feel very disempowered. Um, and it seems like, you know, you are planning, um, or this is on your mind, to actually uh, cut them out, sever ties completely with them, and you want a victory within this situation. And with that eagle, it looks like, you know, you are going to be victorious. You're getting back your self-worth and your self-power. Now, going into the future, you've got that five of pentacles over here. So you are feeling a sense of loss as to whatever happened. There might be a lot of bills that you have to pay, uh, and you are feeling that sense of lack as well. Uh, you can see these people, these this couple crouched in the corner over here. So whatever happened caused, uh, you know, a lot of... Um, material loss you could also mean you know uh, you're feeling right now very very isolated or maybe uh you know with this card it's about being left out in the cold or being ignored or being cut out from something at the moment 
So going into the future, what's going on with you? You've got the King of Swords. So you are waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in. So whatever this relationship was, you're still crying about it with that three of, or four of cups over here. But it looks like, um, you know, there's a legal decision that is pending and you are waiting for that legal decision to come through. Now with the energy cards, it's showing that you are going to be winning that particular uh, legal battle that you are fighting at the moment. You've got the Knight of Cups. So somebody new coming in for you. And it looks like it's going to be something better. Um, you know, this person as well, they're, they're on the knight on that, on that horse, your knight in shining armor coming in on a horse. So there's a new offer coming in for you here. And even with this four of cups, you can see there's that new offer coming in. This person seems to be somebody that you uh, relate to better. You're, um, you know, they are much more emotional. They are somebody that you can... Um, They've got the harp over there, so whatever music they you'll make together is going to be much better than the one, the discord that you had with the other person. And uh, it's going to be a, an offer that makes you very, very happy. This person has also been through a lot themselves, so they relate a lot to your circumstance. Uh, you can see they're carrying a shield. So they are still, they're also in that same state of being defensive as you are after going through a difficult relationship. Uh, uh, but uh, the offer that they make to you is something, uh, you know, that is worthwhile considering. So what you want, a page of discs over here. So you want to work on a new relationship and you also want it to be a financially lucrative relationship. So whatever, uh, you know, you're willing to put in the work and the effort. Uh, maybe you've seen somebody or you met somebody at work and this is somebody that you're trying to, you're hoping, uh, you know, um, shows interest in you as well. Now, going into the future, you've got the Nine of Cups, uh, the Five of Rods, and the Justice System over here. So it looks like whatever you want is going to be coming your way. There is a big cup coming over here. So in all three of these cards, you've got this Knight of Cup offering this cup here on that shield. You've got this big cup over here sitting in the middle of the table um, with this um, Nine of Cups. And then you've got that offer coming in with that Four of Cups over here. So there is a definite offer coming in for you here. And it looks like this person and you will be getting along pretty well. They are, this couple is dining together. So maybe this person is going to make that offer, take you out for dinner, uh, you know, take you out on dates. Uh, and it's going to make you very, very happy uh, with this Nine of Cups. And this is the Wish Fulfillment card. It's a card of satisfaction. It is the card of feeling very, very happy. It's a card of attainment. So, um, you know, a successful relationship. So it looks like, you know, things are going to going to go your way, even though you're still going through um, a lot of problems uh, dealing with this previous relationship. Now, it seems like, you know, there's a there's still that problems that those problems that you have to deal with. You've got this five of rods over here. So maybe you had this previous person that you were involved in are still in contact with each other and are still having a lot of problems. There's a lot of arguments going on still. <coughs> It seems like there's a lot of power struggle going on within that relationship. But that legal decision will be made. So that justice system comes in. You might be still having a lot of problems and, and still dealing with those legalities. Uh, you can see that king of swords over here and the justice system. So a legal decision will be passed. But it's not going to be very easy because you've got this five of rods over here. So you are going through a very, very difficult situation. But on the side, there is this new offer coming in. And you can see in the, behind this curtain, there is that ship as well so you are moving away from difficulties as well but you are still dealing with all the legalities from this previous relationship so it's really tying up loose ends but uh, there's still that difficult uh, uh, that person is still pre um, presenting a lot of problems uh, being very obstructive um, you know maybe causing a lot of havoc stirring up a lot of problems for you but this legal um, um, decision will sort all of that out and you can see the gate is open over here and once that legal decision is made you know you will get your freedom um, and you will be able to move on so i'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, archangel power tarot Okay, so the first card is the strength card, and it says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. Now, you also have that eagle there carrying that snake, so you are sorting out this particular problem, and you have the upper hand. You have the advantage in this particular situation. Even with this Nine of Cups card over here, you have the advantage 
uh, in this particular situation. So that is, that's going to mean that you will be a winner at the, in the end. So you will get this new relationship coming in, but also whatever legal battles you're going through here, you have the upper hand, you have the advantage, and you will be the winner in it because it's the nine of cups. And, um, you know, even though you, you're facing a lot of difficulties, um, you know, having to deal with it, deal with legalities, it looks like you are going to be the one that wins. Um, and, you know, you've got that strength card over here, and this is showing you having the ultimate power and being able to sort through this particular problem. You've got the seven of Raphael, which says, time to make a decision, be clear on what you want, and take action. So, you know, this is something, um, this is like this um, seven of cups here. So having a lot of options available for you, uh, make sure that you're doing some research as to what you want to do next and, you know, make a decision. So there's uh, many things that you can, can do. There are lots of options available for you, for you to move on uh, and how to sort out these problems that you're dealing with. Then you've got that Eight of Raphael, which is like the Eight of Cups, and there's something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right, a, um, a spiritual quest. So it looks like you're leaving things behind. Uh, the Eight of Raphael being like the Eight of Cups, leaving the past behind and moving forward and making a decision and crossing that bridge. So you're going to have to make some kind of decision on how you're going to cope with this, you know, whether you want to leave the situation or whether you want to stay in it. Uh, and, you know, going back to a situation uh, that is not good for you is just going to cause more and more arguments and problems. It looks like, you know, you need to move on and know that there's something better waiting for you, that all of this that you've been through has happened for a particular reason. It's there to open the gateway for somebody new to come in and somebody that, you know, you get along much better with because you've got that knight of cups somebody who looks after you who shields you who will take care of you and you know um who will be better for you in the long run than what you have been dealing with so don't agonize and cry over the things that have been lost uh, rather accept a new offer and uh, you know it'll be a new offer of happiness that comes in so you are dealing with those legal situations and it looks like you are going to be a winner in it um and uh you know things will sort themselves out so I hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.